What's up, YouTube? Listen, guys, I'm tapping back in really quickly, guys, just to give a quick update as well as celebrate those of you that did your thing on a day, man. Just really want to say one more time, major salute to those of you continuing to put in the work, put effort in towards getting results, okay? Taking your lumps, learning from them, tweaking a few things, and then getting back at it to try to start getting incremental progress on your journey, okay? That's really what it's all about, guys. There's no perfect trader. There's nobody that's better than anybody in this game. There's no particular style that's better than the other. It's all about you showing up every day, putting in the work, learning what you need to learn, accomplish what you're setting out to do, and going from there, guys. And that's what I see you guys do each and every day around here. That's why I couldn't be more proud, okay? With that being said, guys, listen, do me a favor. Please make sure you like and subscribe to this video, to this channel. Make sure this video gets at least 2,000 likes minimum, okay? It's okay if we go over that, but at least get to get 2,000, all right? With that being said, man, guys, I want to talk to you about two things. We're going to talk about Twitter and Elon Musk a little bit. But before we do that, I want to give you guys some guidance on a roundabout time period where you can listen out for, because we got to wait for signs and signals, okay, before the the pivot will happen, if you will, all right? And so typically, guys, when you're in a bear market, the time they last is, is, is relative, okay? Some last longer than others, but all in all, guys, when you're in a bear market, typically the pivot happens, meaning you've been going down, down, down. The pivot means now you stop going down and you begin to go up. See, all of this stuff today, I love it because I've already made money, but this is a pump fake, okay? Whether it's tomorrow or next week, all of these gains will be given right back. And so, again, be on the lookout for that. Don't get caught slipping, okay? That's really what I want to teach you guys, too, along this journey about real cycles, real uptrends, sustained uptrends versus dead cap bounces, bear market rallies, and things like that. But, guys, the real signal happens when the Fed either changes his tune, meaning he goes from being hawkish to dovish, or he says something along the lines of, man, I'm pausing rate hikes, or I'm gonna give it, give it up or stop it for now, or he starts doing what we call quantitative easing. That means putting money back into the system, back into the market. Like you guys may remember in 2020, when COVID lockdowns happened, the government started sending out $1,200 stimulus checks, okay? That will be an example of something they can do, okay? Not saying that it will be that again, but that kind of pivot is what kind of signal you wanna look out for when you can know, okay, now when we have a rally, it's gonna be sustained and it's just not gonna be a pump fake. You'll see me move away from words like that. You'll see me not call it a dead cat bounce or a pump fake or bear market rally. You'll see me say, okay, guys, these stocks are about to go and they about to take off or stocks are about to run up. You will hear the whole rhetoric change, but you got to know the cycles, okay? You can't jump the gun and that's why patience is so important, all right? And so with that being said, guys, just be on the lookout. I think in July, we'll get another 50 to 75 basis point hike, okay? And then that, that tone, that change in tone may happen in September. And so that's just my my projection at this point in time again i'm i don't know what i know i don't know anything in particular guys but it's just something i want to share with you guys i'm looking for a change in sentiment a change in the tone and the rhetoric maybe in september okay after that uh fed meeting okay so we'll all keep our eyes on that to see if it comes to fruition and then maybe we'll have a a run a real run not this stuff right here but a real run to close out the year fingers crossed okay no promises though listen with that being said guys elon musk and twitter is what i want to talk to you guys about next and i want you guys to all not only pay attention to this of course do your dd do your research read up look into these things okay but more importantly guys i want you to put this on your watch list if this particular twitter deal falls through guys what do you think gonna happen to the stock okay investing a lot of times especially those of you want to make money in options it's all about finding opportunities okay so things like the deal not going through and things like um the the, the 
Elon Musk wanting certain things and not getting those things and things of that nature, those things are the types of moves that, again, can send the stock spiraling, okay? So as a investor, as somebody that likes to take advantage of opportunities when they present themselves, you might be sitting back saying, you know what? Man, look at how Twitter is responding to the news just as a headline. If the deal actually falls through, if they fall in 5% off of this, what will it do or where will it go? Always look at where it has been as an indicator of where it can return back to, okay? And you can kind of play it like that. Don't wanna, again, press you guys into anything, but more or less, I want to put that on your radar and more importantly, have you guys put that on your watch list as a potential money maker, or as we call it around here, an easy money play, just to have in your back pocket if you guys wanna hit one out the park even in a bear market, okay? Because listen, guys, don't get it twisted. It's still possible. It's still opportunities galore all over the place. Is this about your willingness to go fishing and finding those opportunities, okay? So listen, guys, with that being said, up next is our word of the day. And our word of the day is acquisition. Listen, guys, sometimes they can get tricky. As you see with Twitter and Elon Musk, and you guys know he's over there with Tesla and everything else he has going on, but sometimes acquisitions don't go smooth. Sometimes you get into something and again, it gets drawn out. And although it might be a good add to your portfolio, sometimes nothing that's worth it is ever gonna come easy, okay? And so even as you guys see this thing play out, you got the news coming out with him and some kids he might've had with another relationship, some twins out there, I guess. And I don't do all the messy stuff, guys, so you ain't gonna catch me in that, all right? But I'm just saying, all of this other stuff is happening. Sometimes it could just cloud the vision of what you're trying to do. Acquisitions always don't go smooth or as planned. Some do though, okay? Some businesses are just, are in dire straits, and so they need that savior, they need that that, that lifeline to get out. Other ones, like in Twitter case, they wasn't struggling per se. Like they didn't need to be bailed out. They just got a proposal that they entertained and then liked what they saw and then was willing to potentially pr propose and hear about it, okay? With that being said though, look at all the things that has taken place. Look at how long this has been drawn out, okay? That's just something to be mindful of on your investment journey, that acquisitions will happen. Some companies are gonna go under, somebody might run in to save it. Some companies are gonna be well ran and crushing it and they're gonna be a competition for other companies. And some companies wanna wipe out the competition. Think Facebook buying Instagram, okay? And then boom, they'll just take over that company. But acquisitions are no more currents in the stock market expect it but see the opportunity in it if it's one to be had okay listen guys i hope that was helpful don't forget if you need some mentorship or some one-on-one -on -one coaching please consider joining linking up tapping in guys i'm here for it and it, well, i can be of help you guys already know i got you guys but also guys don't forget man when they sleep we eat but when they panic we pounce we make videos like this every day so if you like this one make sure you check out the next one Remember, most people see the end result. Very few consider the journey. Do me a favor. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you guys grab some free stock. Use them all link below. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.